Hello, I'm Michael Terry, and I will be presenting our case study examining the use of prompt programming for rapid prototyping of AI. Prototyping is essential to software development, but it's hard to prototype AI. Recent work with large language models, or LLMs, have demonstrated that these language models can be quickly customized simply by carefully crafting the input sent to the model. For example, to create a basic English to French translator, we can create the input shown on the right. When we, when we provide that input to the model, it is likely to correctly translate the phrase, how are you, to French. The key insight here is that these natural language prompts, that is, the text provided to the model, allow people to rapidly prototype new models on the fly. To this end, we've created Prompt Maker, a platform for rapidly prototyping new machine learning models using prompt-based programming. With Prompt Maker, a designer or product manager can come up with an idea for an AI-based feature, write a prompt, and then immediately test it on a range of inputs. But how does prompting affect machine learning prototyping? To help answer this question, our case study reports results from interviewing 11 industry practitioners using Prompt Maker. These practitioners include designers, program managers, content strategists, and front-end software engineers. What we found was that Prompt Maker dramatically reduced machine learning model prototyping time from months to minutes or hours. It enabled non-machine learning experts to be more self-sufficient. It provided early intuitions about what might be possible, and the prompts themselves served as boundary objects to ground communications. Let's dive into these findings, starting with the time required to prototype AI. Often, the prototyping process for AI-based features can slow down when a designer tries to go from an idea to a functional mock-up. For example, this participant said, you have a pen and paper idea, you'll play with it using sheets or slides or pen, paper, or scissors, and as soon as you have to write code, the process slows down. Someone has to write a backend and server, and everyone needs to have a Linux box. But now, by using Prompt Maker, this team notes, we thought about natural language queries for a product. 15 minutes later, we had a working example of natural language to structured queries. In other words, models that would previously take months to prototype can now sometimes be developed in minutes. These abilities also reduce the reliance on other experts. For example, without Prompt Maker, if you don't have the expertise to build a model, you must rely on others to build one for you. As this participant notes, we spent a long time trying to find the ML researchers. We don't have a lot of ML engineers on our team. But now, it's possible to start experimenting without needing to have a machine learning expert or software engineer on hand. This can be quite empowering to people like UX designers who can now create functional AI prototypes themselves. Rapid prototyping also helps gain early intuition about the feasibility of an idea. If you don't have a lot of machine learning expertise, it can be hard to know whether uh, what's possible from a modeling perspective. Instead, you must find experts to ask about the feasibility of an idea, as this, as this participant notes. It was sort of a process of interrogation, not of the model itself, but of the people who had the ability to understand it or who created it. But with Prompt Maker, participants indicated they could get a direct sense or intuition for what's possible. For example, this participant said that being able to play around with the model directly and get a sense of what things are easy and what things are hard it's just so much more useful than a wishful thinking sample dialogue. The prompts also help communicate an idea, an idea. Without prompts, participants noted that communicating an idea in detail requires significant time and documentation. With prompt programming, on the other hand, a prompt can serve as a boundary object, as this participant notes. I was referencing something, but he, the SWE, could then use it. It was a common material that we were both using. This is really important in terms of increasing that velocity. Our interviews suggest that Prompt Maker and its prompts are supporting practices similar to sketching or prototyping as found in other contexts. Similar to prototyping, prompt making is fast, it's accessible, it grounds communication, and it affords lightweight testing. At the same time, participants also faced several key challenges in developing prompts. Specifically, they had challenges in reverse engineering prompt designs, sourcing examples, prompt debugging, and evaluation. To go into more detail, 
prompt engineering can be deceptive. It seems like you can use any phrase just as if you were talking to another person. However, that's not quite the case. It's possible to have similar phrases but different outcomes from the model. Here is an example where similar phrasing in two different prompts can yield very different outcomes. In the first example, we ask the model to use a word in a sentence. The second example requests the same outcome, but it's more likely to produce the desired results. These differences are due to what training data the model has seen. Given this, users need to work backwards by first considering what phrases are more likely to mimic text in the training data. In short, a key challenge in prompt engineering is in developing an accurate mental model of how the model works so that you, as a user, can reverse engineer a prompt, that design, a prompt design that works. There's also a need to come up with multiple examples so the model doesn't overfit. But coming up with multiple examples can be challenging, and it, and, and it can be difficult to know whether the examples are sufficient to produce the desired results. To address this problem, most participants came up with examples on their own when some searched the web to find content. One participant recruited a collaborator to broaden their set of examples, while another participant sourced additional examples from the model itself by picking good results from initial model output, adding them to the prompt, running the model, and then repeating this process. Because a generative model may produce different results on each run, it can be challenging to systematically evaluate whether a particular prompt is better than another. Here's an example where someone wants to prototype a model that uses a given vocabulary word in a sentence. Let's say they see an improvement in the output. With, with just a single run of the model, it is challenging to know whether this is due to chance or the actual prompt design. At present, prompt testing can be quite ad hoc. Additional tools would be useful to more reliably evaluate different prompt designs. So to summarize what we saw, we found that prompting made it possible to rapidly prototype machine learning. It dra dramatically reduced machine learning prototyping time from months to minutes, and empowered people like designers and product managers to directly sketch out machine learning models. And it, it enabled them to be more self-sufficient, and the prompts helped ground communication between, between team members. At the same time, participants noted several challenges while making prompts. They found that they needed to, re to reverse engineer their goals when designing a prompt. They found it difficult to create good examples that could generalize. And because the large language model could produce different output on each run, it, it was also challenging to systematically debug prompts. Thank you for your time.